Hello and welcome back to my channel, it's Claudia and if you're new, well, welcome to the family. <laughs> so, about a year ago, I think, I posted a video about how to fill up empty notebooks. Actually, I posted two videos about it and I got loads of comments about it and some of them were saying I should do a flip through of my expression notebook. Now, if you haven't seen that video, I suggest you go see it down below, but basically my expression notebook is a notebook where I write things that come up to my mind in the moment. So it can be a song, it can be like I feel like drawing, or it can be like places I've been so I would stick stuff onto that. And I've been doing it since 2015, which means that I've been doing it for over three years. And uh, I've gone through three notebooks. I think I haven't filled up the second one, but it was becoming too wide. So I couldn't keep on using that one or it would break. So I changed to the third one, which is the best one I've had so far. And I already bought the next two that are from the same notebook. Like, they're the same notebook, just in different colours. That way I have the next two years, basically. And, well, I'll show you what's inside of them. So, here it goes. So the first book is in November 2014. That's when I started this one. And... It's actually really beautiful as in it's wood and it has also like plexiglass inside and I did not finish it because obviously it was starting to break out I tend to not finish all of them they usually like end up oh actually I think maybe I did finish this one I usually don't finish them but yeah so here it goes so as you can see, I tend to write songs on my notebooks, drawings, concerts I've been to, um, quotes of, from books, literally would put anything that I think is what's happening right now to me or in any way. And I also write thoughts that come to my mind, but mostly it's other things. So I don't even have a problem with like showing it to other people if they want to see it because it's not an actual diary. It's not like a journal or anything. It's just like memories and things that have happened to me and things that are me in this specific moment in time. And you can see throughout the books that I do grow up a lot. Like you can see by the things I write and how I write them that I change. And that's also what I like about them. Because in 20 years time I can see them again. And just have loads of books. And you can literally see me grow without actual photos. It's like you can see my thoughts and my experiences and everything like that grow older with time and I think it's a truly beautiful thing so if you intend to start it it I definitely suggest starting it I didn't even get the idea myself my best friend started it before me and I just thought it was such a great idea I needed to do it as well and she actually stopped doing it because she didn't have the time, she didn't feel like continuing and I just have never stopped since 2014 so it's been a long journey, it's been so many things have happened and I just think they are great so if you feel like starting it, definitely should start it. Also I tend to like put loads of tickets of places I've been, of trains, pic I put pictures, not many, but it's because I just don't feel like printing out stuff to put it in. I usually just have things there, kind of hanging around my room and I want to put them in. But yeah, so uh, 
just feel free to do whatever you want to do if you want to start it if i go to a place if i uh do something that's a bit different that i've never done before i tend to like look around to see if i can keep things to actually put them inside the notebook so uh, for example I went trampolining once I will have like the play like the leaflet of the place so yeah that's what I do I just pick loads of things and then decide what I'm gonna keep and what I'm not So then in October 2015, I started this one and I did write the date. The other one I had to kind of decide it was 2014 because I have tickets from 2014, concerts and stuff like that. But yeah, I bought this book. This one I'm sure I didn't finish because these pages are definitely not written. I kind of stop around here. So... Uh, it was because the spine was breaking and I was afraid of ruining it more than keeping it so I just stopped and started a new one but mostly I just keep on going until I feel like it's full so yeah I'm gonna jump right in to showing you this because it's a lot of memories a lot of stuff and you do see me like growing up from the first one you notice I start writing less quotes or things like that and it goes on more like that like the last one is definitely like me right now so let's jump into this so I bought this notebook in Accessorize and it was in the sale section I just thought it was cute so I got it it's not it doesn't have to be like something you like you don't have to buy a specific type of notebook you can go through literally whatever so you can see that in this one I have some old pictures of me these are all from way before this notebook was even written I just printed out some pictures some restaurants have been quotes I just liked to put random things I find around and just if they represent me right now I will write them down so even quotes from movies drawings most of the drawings I tended to do while in class like in school because I was either not feeling the lesson or just had a break and I would draw all of the time I'm one of those people who needs to be doing something with her hands at all time and so yeah that's what I would do like I would just pick a pen and start drawing and I have literally any kind of memory is in here so you can see that even drawing wise I tended to grow older there are some like drawings from my cousins who wanted to draw on it because they saw me drawing on it <laughs> so yeah I tend to like literally take this book with me literally everywhere and just do what I feel it doesn't matter if it weighs two kilos in my suitcase I will literally bring it anywhere so yeah a great place to find quotes or drawings or inspiration in general for my notebook was we heart it and I used to use it loads at the beginning. I kind of stopped using it in recent years, like I think the cup like the last year or maybe a couple of years, but I still do kind of once in a while go and look at what's new, what other people put out there because other people have similar jo journals to me, so I tend to like look and see what they are writing what they are doing and if it also involves me i will also go and try and do something similar and yeah just pick inspiration from anywhere like i started cutting out things from magazines and just things that were cute or nice and i just liked i would 
put in. So it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be one of a kind. It doesn't have to be completely, perfectly, aesthetically pleasing. It can literally, whatever you feel like doing, just go on and do it. So yeah, you can see here that I was in America and I bought, well not bought, but I stuck some things from uh, museums and places I went to see. I even have like other tickets and other things that were happening in that time. So yeah, I'm full of quotes, so many quotes in this notebook, like literally. Here I went on a cruise with my family and I just sucked that there. And you can see like time passing. I do try and write dates, like if it's a holiday or something that had a specific date when it happened. But if it didn't, then I just kind of stop. And this one finishes here. So I left the last pages empty because it was breaking. So we have reached the final one. This is the one I'm currently doing. We are halfway, I would say. And it's been over a year when I've started this one because it says it here, it's January 2017, which means that it's a year and I'm so happy. So I'm gonna show you what happened since January until now, a lot of things actually happened in this year. I feel like um, it sums them up really well. So I'm really happy with how it's coming out. So I bought this one in London in a little arts shop in Camden Town. And that's literally the very first things that I'm writing in it because that's where I bought it, that's what was happening. I was born in January, so that's my birthday is like, right after that and then I just like started putting in my a reading list of books I wanted to read things that made me happy things that I felt in the moment my goals for the year I just tend to just put whatever I'm feeling just put all of your feelings in this book and once you want to see you want to remember what happened you just open it up and you literally can see your entire life. That's one thing I really love about it. You literally have the entire year, the entire two years, five years summed up in one little place and I just think it's beautiful and it's yours and it's something that no one else has or no one else can relate to as much as you do because it just completely you so I went to a film festival it was the LGBTQ film festival in my hometown and then I put a song that I really liked at the time and I went to the aquarium <laughs> it's literally just things like that and I just really think I went to go play bingo with my mom <laughs> So yeah, it's just things like that. And you remember these things by having them. I went to vi see my university for the first time. And then I moved to the university. And you know when you moved because it's there. It's written. It tells you everything. And I just really liked how things were are evolving. How things just are always changing. And if you feel like they're not... When you're looking at this, you can definitely tell they are because you see so many things happening and so many things just keeping and going and you can tell that things are just moving along even if you don't see it anymore. So yeah, I just really enjoy having this kind of notebooks in my life.
So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below whatever you want to see next because it does take me a while to actually do it, but I will do it eventually. It took me ages to do this one just because but with moving to university and stuff, I didn't have my old notebooks and I wanted to do the three of them together, so I had to wait to come back home. And anyway, so if you will tell me to do a video I will try my best to do it and here it is so hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next video bye